Where do you want to start, buddy? Let's start with OJ. All right. And I just, what he meant to me, Stani, is he was the first real life Denzel Washington to me. You know, black man on TV, handsome, um, doing the commercials, running through the airport and got his reporter job. And I tried to model myself after him on the field, Stani, and off up until what happened in 1994. But I will say rest in peace to the juice. But, Stani, I don't know if there's a more divisive name in American culture than O.J. Simpson. And I hate, you know, that that's part of the story. But I'll, t- I'll just tell you this. I know you didn't ask for this heavy, but I, I talk about Norm and I's deer hunting career. Yep. And Norm was such a nice guy, Stani. When we would hunt, we would meet strangers. And my dad, we would road hunt. He would always stop whatever car was coming, however many guys and gals there was, to say hello, and I used to say, Pop, everybody didn't want to stop and talk to you. Have you ever thought of that? But that was just his nature, and I'll leave you with this. After 1994, and we're out there with rifles, Stiney, shotguns, it changed. And I hate to, I'm not going to blame that on OJ, but after that verdict, Norm would still, the same practices, hey, how's it going, and I'm getting older, and mature and stiny, but I could tell you our experience, especially mine, changed. And, you know, I could be putting that at the wrong doorstep, but nobody can take that from me. And I'd be like, Pop, we're coming to hunt, not not meet and greet. But it's just sad that I can have that a part of the O.J. Simpson story. But, uh, yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah, we can uh, – I moved out here in ninety. And obviously, I listened to a lot of Bonte and Shasky this morning, and OJ's from San Francisco, so Petraea Hill. He's uh, indelibly tied to this area, so uh, we, we can absolutely, positively talk about OJ Simpson and and kind of, you know, what 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 he meant, yeah, and uh, and that connection to the city that probably became a that was a blessing to start and maybe a curse uh, after 1994. Yeah. Um, but I, I can just tell you that what I remember most about O.J. Simpson was O.J. Simpson and the electric company um, the electric. back when he ran for 2,000 yards for the Buffalo Bills. That oh, was look what at you. His offensive line was called. Re- <laughs> Reggie McKenzie, I know, was one of the guys on that offensive line, but when he ran for over 2,000 yards, I, I want to say. The electric company style. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I want to say that the, uh, the NFL – they may have put Buffalo on special, like on a Monday <laughs> night game, or on a. They televised Buffalo Bills games on on Sundays when they were just an okay team. But because he was pursuing the record or pursuing two thousand yards, uh, that I, I I felt like their games were on just about every week. Mm. Um, then he became kind of a spokesman, obviously a commercial pitch man for Hertz is the big one, and um, man. You know, and then then the rest the movie from, career. Yeah, yeah, then the rest from nineteen ninety four on. And uh he passed today, seventy six years old of cancer. Man. Uh I'll just I'll throw it out at eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero is the number. Honestly, I don't I don't really know what to ask or what what I'm looking for here. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um Well what OJ meant to you. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. I mean that that's totally fair. I mean I you know, he was he was one of the greatest running backs of all time, and then he became one of the greatest pariahs of all time, if that's even a strong enough word for him. No doubt. But uh, we, we can talk about O.J. Simpson, 888-957-9570. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we want to go O.J. hard and then spread Well, I don't want to get fired because, yeah, I got a lot to – I love you like a brother, Stiney, and there's no subject we can't broach, but I need to be careful – and if you allow me, I'm going to do this. Yeah. So I use the word divisive. I'll yep. never forget when that verdict came in. I was at work, mm-hmm. and Josiah Anderson, I used to work with at Icon Office Solutions, rolls up on the other side of our cubicle and goes, he's innocent. And, you know, as a young black kid, Stiney, I got to be honest with you. If you look through American history, there have been many black innocent men wrongly convicted And they've gone to prison, okay? So, O.J. Simpson, to me, 
and I'm using him selfishly, he was he he to me was a guy that represented, okay, I'm not happy he got off, Stani, but to a lot of the black community, he was one where the system it worked for black folks, if that makes any sense. So thoughts and prayers to to Nicole and the Goldman family and Nicole Simpson, but Stani, it's it's a whole layered thing of what OJ, not just him, meant through the judicial system, if that makes any sense to you. So there's a lot of feelings, a lot of people that I've lost relationships with over, not because I threw a parade that he was innocent, but that's what he, there was a divide, Stani. There was so many men and women that have been convicted in this world, uh, black men and women that were innocent, that were wrongly convicted because they didn't have the money to, to get people to fight for him. And here's OJ Simpson where it looks like he did this heinous crime, this heinous murder, but yet he got off and a lot of people felt like, okay, the scoreboard was, and this is wrong, but it's real. The scoreboard read, you know, you know, a black male, the system worked for him if you thought he was guilty. So when I hear OJ Simpson's name, man, that's why I say divisive and, and and I'm already getting it right now. Goo two wrongs don't make a right. I understand it. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to share with you, Stani, and the listeners, just how heavy his name, how it was he was my hero, and then what he represented after that. Yeah. Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero is the number. Uh the one the one part about this all that I don't really remember. Give it to and me. if someone was around at that point, uh you know, when when he came back to the San Francisco 49ers at the end of his career and the 49ers, you know, acquired him to to, uh, you know, create some excitement. Yeah. But he was at the end of his career. Yeah. Um, you know, that that's the kind of stuff I'm I'm uh, I'm curious about because I know the 49ers weren't very good then. Um, and it didn't work out. Yeah, yeah no, okay. it, it it apparently didn't work out. Eight hundred um, yards, I believe. He got yeah, it. and and then you know, obviously, part of this is the is the Bronco chase. I'll never forget it. Where were you? I believe it or not, I, I Friday I was, night. I, I was trying to think about this, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, because I looked it up, I think I was at a Giants game. Come on, stop! And I actually looked it up, and they played the Cubs that night at at Candlestick. They won six to one, and I have a vague recollection of being at that game. But either listening to the radio or or just knowing that something was going on um, that was crazy. They didn't show it in the ballpark, did they? I no. don't think so. <laughs> okay, because now but I, I think they have that thing up there. Yeah, but I can't. I can't quite remember. And the, the, the other thing that that sticks out to me at the time was, you know, you had. I, I mean, what would seemed to come to the fore after that trial was, you know, money can, if you got money, no, you can, you can, you call. can, uh, you know, buy some justice. Yeah. But uh, OJ Simpson, you know, I, I mean, as an athlete, I remember him as a Buffalo Bill. Wow, man. Uh, being on the East Coast. And, you know, that's the Howard Coast highlight, Stadi. I yeah. remember that. The, the juice is loose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why they called their uh, offensive line the electric company because that's what that, turned. That's a great one. I that's hadn't what heard turned that on one. the juice is what they said. Now I don't real quick here, Stanley. Yeah. I don't know how how tough you've been following social media. OJ's been out there. Okay. He was on Cam and Mace's podcast, and he was their uh, you know their their sports guy, and they would go to him. Stanley, about a month ago, he put a video out at golfing, mm -hmm. and he said, you know. There were some reports that he was sick or he passed, and he looked in the camera and said, I'm good to go. I don't know where those reports came from. And if I'm correct, about 30 days or less, he's no longer with us. Yeah, I guess my 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 question to, to either sports fans or non-sports fans is, you know, how do you even talk about this guy right now? I mean, seriously, what what's there to say? Do, do, does wow. he earn, does he deserve to be remembered? And if he's remembered, does he deserve to be remembered for anything good? That's deep. I, I don't know. That's I mean, deep, you, you know, it's it's it, the one thing was I heard he died. I heard the the uh, you know, obviously we'll talk about it if people want to talk about it. But when it comes to something like this, my feeling, and I'll I'll just ask the listeners and and you is like, well, like what do, what do you talk about? Like what what can not can you talk about? We can talk about whatever we want, 
but how much time does this guy deserve? And the time that he gets or that you give him, how much of it should be spent on the football? How much of it should be spent on the commercials? How much of it should be spent on the acting? And how much of it should be spent on the fact that he... Yeah, ninety nine point nine percent killed two people. Uh, so it's I I don't like I'll, I'll talk about it. I just don't know. I want to make sure to be kind of sensitive about this because I don't think it's a joke. Yeah. But by the same token, um, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to be led down a path here that I don't know where it's really going to go at at eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. Tell tell me this, and I want to run this by you all. Yeah. So. Again, I didn't know O.J. Simpson, but when you go to a funeral, and I have, and you have a connection with that person, he or she, the funeral is the the location for you to to remember the good, right, Stiney? So I guess that's what I want to do with O.J. Simpson. You know, God bless the dead, but at the end of the day, I understand this. There's a lot of things going to come up, man, but if we were at a funeral, you never go up in the Oh, Steiny did this and Steiny, you know, Guru did that. But I got to just tell you how I was introduced to to this death this morning. My friend Danker sent me a a YouTube uh, video, Steiny, where the guy says what OJ was involved in and who did the murders. So Chris Townsend and I, you know, when we used to do radio together back in the day, Steiny, we've watched every doc. Uh, the people against O.J. Simpson, and I don't want to say I'm fascinated, but I gravitated to it. So this morning I'm driving down 80, not even knowing he passed, and here's this guy just saying what he was involved in, the, the, the cocaine, the mob, and who did what, and then I find out why that was sent to me. He passed, but, I, Steiner, you just said a question I don't have the answer to. Right. So... I guess if we were at his funeral, right, you wouldn't go up. I've never been to a funeral and somebody said bad words about somebody, right? I mean, would do, do you even go to do right. you go to that funeral? Right. I mean, would you go to that funeral? Yeah. I mean, th- look, there's a. I mean, you know, he had a family, obviously that that probably, you know, is mourning right now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, get, uh, I don't want to stir the pot. I, I, I give Stani, I'm letting them off now. But, Stani, there are some people, and I know them, that would say he went to the judicial system and was found not guilty. And you know what I'm like? That'll set it off, and people side-eye you, and I get it. But that's what happened. Yeah, uh, I'm just looking at some of the text and some of the uh, YouTube chat comments. Uh uh, Alnetta, one of our favorites, yeah. uh, Alnetta says, uh, Steiny, you act as though you were there. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. There. Um, you talk as if you were there, Steiny. No, I wasn't. I was, uh, I was watching it on TV, I think, yeah. if I can remember correctly, or what Friday I Friday night, Nick's Rockets. What I remember is then watching it maybe after. I can't, I can't quite remember a lot of the details about that night. I just remember kind of the generality of the chase. You know the slow speed chase with uh, with Cowan in the car with him. So and then I got to use. Curious. Yeah, l- let me add this, Donnie. There's a there's a disappointment again. I don't want to make this about race, but there's a disappointment to me as a black man that O.J. Simpson, with all that incriminating evidence, was an innocent man, and then he ended up going to prison for something that was. I guess I could call it one of the dumbest things ever. So there's that part of it too, Stani. This man spent time in prison for something that a lot of people think he should have been in for because of a stupid decision. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I didn't say that on that. I said there was, what, a 99.9% chance that he did. I mean, again, like this is why, you know, we got to be careful yeah. about, where I, you know, yeah. I, listeners don't have to be careful, but I, I guess I have to be careful. But as about far as race dining, when I say divisive, could you, I mean, we could go throughout American history, but you do understand that was as divisive as it gets, right? Yeah, absolutely. And people weren't behind OJ. They were behind the color, if that makes any sense. And it's almost sad, too. 
925. I was born and raised in South Central LA on 119th and Berendo. Okay. And I remember OJ running from the cops right there on the 105 free, 105 freeway uh, during the NBA Finals. Uh, it was breaking news, so we ran down the street and actually saw the Bronco. Yeah, that's the other thing that happened. Is wow. It was on TV, and then everybody saw it on TV. So anybody who was in L.A., kind of along that road, came out and was watching the Bronco go down the highway with all kinds of uh, man, with all kinds of you know police in pursuit. So yeah, it was absolutely positively crazy, no no doubt about yeah. it. Um, so we can we can talk about O.J. Simpson. I don't know how I'm going to. Tra- uh, 